As the senior leader of this team, when you're falling on a little bit of tough times with the injury, what is what do you say as far as um, kind of lighting the fire under your team and making sure that mentally everyone stays focused? That you have to keep your head, just keep fighting. Um, we have 15 more games left in league play, so we got to focus on one game at a time and try to get some people healthy. Now looking back at the past two games, obviously not the way that you guys wanted them to turn out, but what are some things you can take from that and use as lessons learned moving forward? Um, just knowing um, the mistakes that we made throughout the game, um, some of the things that we didn't do so well in the game, that how work on how we can improve them in practice and how we can try to fix it for the next game. And now Coach Carey had said that in, in terms of effort recently, he's not been very pleased with just the whole team as a whole where effort is. Is that something that you guys have seen in practice, maybe a drop in effort or a drop in games, or maybe just a hit to confidence uh, now that you've had that hit to your bench as well? I just think it's really um, just a lack of numbers we have. And um, like throughout practice, I think we practice hard. And I think it's just in the games, we don't execute in the games and we don't do what we're supposed to do in the games sometimes. And that's where we sure. You got this Oklahoma team. They they've got some big girls like uh, Baylor did. Or somebody I think who's six nine. Um, what what do you have to do to to attack this team a little better than you did the other night against Baylor and their big girls? Uh, we just have to um, execute our game plan when we go into the game. Whatever we're, we're going to watch from Oklahoma today, see their team. We know they're a little different from last year, but. Um, we just have to work on our game plan and have to execute in the game. And so these um, couple days of practice, we just have to go hard and um, just make everybody accountable for anything that's done in practice that is not done the correct way. We got to hold uh, each other accountable for um, the mistakes that we make in practice, so that when it comes to the game, we can have less of those mistakes. I know a big thing the other night was was Baylor's offensive rebounds, and you know a lot of times Coach Carey attributes that to you know to just effort aggressiveness down there. Is that something that just needs to be to be kicked up a notch here when you go up against Oklahoma? Yeah, I mean we we knew going in um, to Baylor that they were gonna that's one of their strengths, offensive rebounding. So um, we just have to make a more conscious effort going into the game, especially Oklahoma. Um, to you know, box out and do what we need to do to get the um, win. How does Katrina seem to you? I know she has to play with that mask. That's that's never a good thing. She's trying to make the best of it, you know, right now while she has to wear that. I think she's been fighting through it. Um, I mean, there's not much she can do. She can go take a chance to um, play without it, but I don't think she want to hurt her nose again right now, and it's not fully healed. So I think she's been fighting through it, and that's just what she has to do because I mean, she can't play without it right now. I know you need. You know, she's fought through a lot. Has had a knee that's bothered her. She's playing through that. The nose thing. That's the, the kind of gritty type players that you need. Yeah, we right. just. I mean, we're short already, so I think she's done a great job. We're trying to get back on the court, and she her knee really hasn't, you know, stopped her from like coming to practice and going hard. Um, and then the nose it was just an unfortunate situation, but she's been fighting through it. She got back. She missed a game or two. And she was right back at it.